I want to set it off with the film um, Back to Black, and um, this is a musical biopic based on Amy Winehouse and this singer Amy Winehouse's tumultuous relationship with Blake Fielder of Civil inspires her to write and record the groundbreaking breaking album Back to Black. And this is directed by Sam Taylor Johnson. It stars Marissa Abella as Amy Winehouse, um, Eddie Marson, Leslie Manville, and Jack O'Connell as the Blake Fielder. And I will say this for a music biopic, this one was kind of lackluster. It's kind of on the um, the lesser end, in my opinion. You know, compared to something like, um, you know, uh, Bob Marley, One Love, which, um, you know, I think that film was told with more enthusiasm, more skill, um, just all around compared to this one, man. This definitely feels like something Lifetime possibly could have put out, you know, okay. and it's kind of crazy because they have the um, the rights to the music in this. There's The music is all through this, but, but it, it just... It, it just lacks the oomph, you know, you know, everything, like I said, is told with is unenthusiastic. You know, we get a lot of scenes of her singing in lounges and bars, which is, I guess, maybe how she was discovered. And those moments, they happen. But I feel like our actress, uh, Marissa Bella, is just kind of doing just karaoke and, and, and even um, just a really weak imitation of you know white house you know like i haven't really seen a lot of footage of her to compare her real life mannerisms and all of that but it just doesn't feel quite right you know you feel like you're watching something that's just not the best that it could be man like like uh, i was telling you earlier i feel like you're probably going to get more off of a better more highly rated um documentary about Amy Winehouse than you would get from this film. Um, interestingly enough, man, like I was, I looked at the Rotten scores after I watched it, and the um, critic side is probably about you know forty percentile, but the fans are just sitting at like 87 percent on the audience side. So I don't know, man. I don't know if it's the thing where the people who um, did like it were the ones that took the time to write uh, reviews. So maybe that's why the score is looking like this, but. I didn't really get much out of this. Um, you know, you do get uh, moments of her with the tabloids and all of that. But 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 like I said, every step just doesn't feel that important. Even when she's signing the deal, it's just presented in ways that are like like usually in a film like this, you know, like like even Bob Marley, yo, when he gets his um shot, it's like, damn, like he you know, like like that scene where um they convinced the the record guy <laughs> who's about to pull a pistol out on him. To, to yeah, let them yeah. record and even that's like just like oh this is so cool but i just never really got many moments like that and, and her life was tragic man i think she did pass away at like it was like 25 or 27 that's something like that, like she that. Was young. yeah she's very yeah young. And, and, and there's not much really joy in this film and i guess maybe that kind of reflects on our life but um but yeah it's just i don't know man i don't think i got a good picture of her as a person watching this i mean it does cover a lot of the, the tabloid stuff and the, the bad you know elements that happened in her life but i don't know i feel like in a biopic you want a more complete picture of the subject you know and i don't think this did it and i don't think what we did get was done in a particularly interesting way you know i um kind of had high hopes for this film i will watch it when it whenever it comes to streaming but um mm -hmm. that's we're making a day and going to the theater and going to see it i i really the trailer didn't really do that much for me I, I am a fan of um, Amy Winehouse. Um, mm -hmm. Back in Back in Black is um, a real good album, um, mm -hmm. and I, I just hate that you know drugs kind of took her away from us, you know, you know, so quickly because yeah. she could, you know, it's no telling how big of a uh, a singer she could be right now, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she had a lot of demons, and I think yeah. as it alludes to her relationship um, with Blake was probably, you know, a big part of the problem, man. And interestingly enough, you know, as I said in the, the intro, this was the inspiration, that relationship was the interest inspiration for that album. So it's kind of crazy, man. Sometimes, you know, bad things can inspire great art. 